Hi everyone, naturalist John Ickenbottom from Salt Fork State Park here. Um, first, I want to thank everyone that commented and shared the last video. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Uh, so today, I went out with the intentions of doing a video on roadside wildflowers, and I promise I'll get that video up. Um, I'm going to add notes and everything. Uh, but I came across something kind of cool that I didn't want to miss an opportunity to share with you. Uh, today I found a um, young common snapping turtle uh, crawling along and uh, wanted to share it with you. Now common snapping turtles are, uh, are a fascinating creature. They, uh, they can be found in swamps and farm ponds and creeks, anywhere with deep enough water and, uh, and abundant enough fish to sustain them. Um, now it's remarkable to me that such a little creature, one that can fit in the, the palm of my hand, can actually turn into something like this in adulthood. Uh, it's just amazing. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, so common snapping turtles, this one's probably two or three years old. They can live up to 50 years. Um, and usually they're uh, somewhere between 10 and 35 pounds. Now there, there's a record of a 75 pound snapping turtle. That's a huge snapping turtle. Um, and there, uh, there are stories of them living longer. Um, on average, they live about 35 to 50 years, but there's stories of them living much longer. Uh, generally speaking, uh, they're aquatic. They spend most of their time in the water um, foraging for fish. They're one of the few turtles that will eat carrion, they'll eat dead things in the water. Um, and this time of year you might see them out basking on logs occasionally. Uh, and here in a month or so you may even see the female snapping turtles laying eggs in, uh, on sandy banks and roadside ditches and things like that. Um, they'll lay 20 to 30 eggs at a time in a little nest that the female excavates. Um, and this uh, this species in particular um, doesn't have a whole lot of predators when it gets a certain size, but when it's this small, an enterprising raccoon could easily make a feast of this. Um, so historically, snapping turtles were prized for their meat. People made turtle soup. Uh, it's less common now. Uh, not as many people do it. Uh, if you're interested, though, uh, I have provided a link with uh, the rules and regulations regarding catching snapping turtles for food. I've also posted a link uh, for the species profile on this critter, uh, like I did last time, so check that out. Um, we're gonna, he's ready to go, we're gonna let him go. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well, thanks a lot for watching, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again.